Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a minute since I've uploaded. I just decided to take the 4th of July week off from a lot of things because I wanted to spend time with my family and my husband was home um, from work. So I just decided, hey, let's just take it easy for a little bit. But now I'm back and I wanted to do a garage sale haul video today because I found some crazy amazing stuff at garage sales a week ago. So I wanted to show you guys what I found. Just to give a little background to anyone who might be new here, my name is Ashley. I'm a stay-at-home mom to two little boys and on this side I sell on eBay and Amazon and I just absolutely love it because it's the perfect part-time job where I get to choose my own hours, I get to earn pretty much a full-time income and I get to be home with my boys. So it's really a win all around and I like to share what I do in case others are interested in doing the same thing. So thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you like reselling content from a perspective of a mom doing this part-time. So anyway, let's just go ahead and dive right into the good stuff. Okay, so first of all, to give some background, one of the garage sales that I went to, they run a garage sale every single year and they always have really good stuff and I've actually become friends with the woman who runs it and the family that runs it. So she's super nice, she's super awesome. She She's an entrepreneur herself like me, but reselling just isn't her thing. So she has really nice stuff that she just doesn't want to go through the trouble of selling herself, so she sells it to me. And I happily oblige because this is my wheelhouse. And I think that's just kind of a testament to the fact that we all have our own strengths, we all have things we're good at, things we're not so great at. Sometimes reselling isn't for everyone, so because it's for me, she kind of plays to my strengths and I'm really grateful for that. So I arrived really early at her yard sale because I knew there would be good stuff and she even had stuff set aside just for me. So incredibly grateful for that connection for sure. Let me show you some of the things that she had. This right here is a very beautiful Burberry Buckley bag. It's leather trim with like nylon canvas and it is authentic and the only issue is it does have kind of a tear at the lower seam here. So I'm going to actually be taking this to a cobbler or just a leather tailor here and seeing if I can get that fixed and then seeing what it can sell for. But this bag originally retails for a lot of money. Anything that's Burberry with purses tends to be a lot of money. So I did pay up for this. I paid $40 for it. So definitely worth paying up for this item. But yeah, I will have to repair it first. Speaking of Burberry, she had this really cute Burberry crossbody leather bag. The Burberry embellishment here is a little bit discolored just from age and time, but I cleaned it up the best I could. I cleaned the interior the best I could. I still think it'll sell for pretty good money. So I picked that up because yeah, it's Burberry, why not? And I'm seriously guys so tempted to keep some of these things for myself, but I'm actually not like when I think about it, I'm not really a handbag person. I know there's people who love handbags. It's just not my thing. I actually carry around just my wallet, keys, and phone in my hand when I go anywhere. I'm really weird like that. And I don't ever carry purses with me. So I just thought to myself, Ash, just take the money, sell it, take the money, and buy something that is more up your alley. Okay, so in addition to some Burberry, she always has Lululemon and she always has Tory Burch. <laughs> so I picked up some Tory Burch espadrilles, a pair of Tory Burch sandals, some Tory Burch ballet flat wedges, and um, some other wedges. I think I picked up, oh gosh, around seven pairs of Tory Burch shoes, which was awesome, as well as this Tory Burch leather crossbody, navy blue, really, really cute, really pretty. Um, I Again, I need to clean this up a little bit more, so I haven't listed it yet, but I'm hoping to sell this for anywhere from $150 to $200. Again, with the Tory Burch flats, I picked up a lot of ballet flats from her in really good condition. So when it comes to Lululemon pieces, I am a little bit more selective. I do not generally pick up just the tank tops that are plain. I don't pick up like the speed shorts unless I know that they're a unique pattern. So um, I did recognize this pattern as soon as I saw it though. This is the Lululemon Secret Garden print and it is a lot more rare, especially when it comes to this top. This is called the Hot Hitter Top and it's kind of like a sleeveless collared button up. It's really cute and I've actually sold this before. I sold this top before for I think $55. So that's what I have it listed at currently. So that's where it's definitely worth it to get a top. Definitely their sweaters and jackets are worth picking up. So I picked up this, it's called the Sew Sherpa hoodie. It's full zip and it's 
definitely more rare and more unique yeah it's summer but someone will want this if it's a rare more unique lemon piece then definitely grab it but it does take time to learn another unique piece that i picked up is this lululemon pack and glide jacket it's kind of like a raincoat it's in really great condition and i have this currently listed for close to 100 dollars, and we'll see if it sells but that is what comps look like for this style and color of jacket and again with lululemon tops you have to be a little more selective but i knew right away this is the run swiftly short sleeve and it's in the gray heather and that's a little bit more rare and a little more sought after in fact it's really hard not to keep this just for me because I've always kind of wanted one, but I always end up selling it because it's great money. Um, but yeah, I picked this up and I know it'll sell for anywhere from $45 to $50. Okay, so that's kind of an overview of the things that I got. Again, tons of Tory Burch, tons of Lululemon, those really nice handbags, which are awesome. I even picked up, I forgot to mention, this Lululemon gym bag as well. So I got a lot of great stuff. Um, always super happy to buy from my friend because she's awesome and like we both win when it comes down to this because i do pay up a little bit for her items and she gets to sell it off in one go and then i get to make money on the back end so i would encourage you guys to not be shy tell people what you do be really kind be really forthright don't try to cheapskate people and you will come out the other side as a winner i promise Let's go into the next yard sale because the next yard sale started at the exact same time as the other yard sale. So what I did was I showed up 25 minutes early to the first yard sale. She was still setting up, but since we're friends, it was totally cool. I went and got my stuff and then I hurried over to the next one starting at seven o'clock that was advertised as also an amazing sale. So I went to it and sure enough, there was a lot of great stuff. She had Lululemon as well. She had this brand new with tags Pace Rival skirt that is a seaweed print as well. So that sells for more money. Seaweeds, you can tell, you can tell a seaweeds print by the logo. The logo always has something special around it. And these had the tags anyway, which say seaweeds anyway. So that's how I knew. But yeah, I grabbed this and I know it'll sell for well over the retail price, honestly, because seaweed pr seaweeds prints are more rare. And she also had a newest tags tank top, which I'm not gonna pass up if it's brand new with tags Lululemon. This is a all sport support tank and it had like a cool colorway. So yeah, grabbed this as well. And she had tons of Rock Revival jeans. <laughs> and Rock Revival jeans I've talked about before. I've talked about in my previous Come Garage Sell With Me and Thrift With Me video where I picked them up. Rock Revival sells for great money and I picked up, I wanna say seven pairs of Rock Revival jeans from her. So total score and I was really happy. I did again pay up a little bit for these but I knew that they would sell great for me. Rock Revival is sold at Buckle. It's got the really embellished pockets and it's got, I mean, a really big logo on the back. So hard to miss. Again, more. And then another bonus with Rock Revival jeans is it always has the style right on the interior that's the paula boot cut there's just all kinds of different models so you can use that in your title for keywords i also found this lululemon go wear two dress it's like in a heathered gray and the lululemon dresses that i've picked up in the past have sold really quickly for great money so i thought this would be no exception i did list it a little like a week ago i've listed most of the things that i picked up um in the span of time since I got them so yeah these are always kind of a home run for me I've sold these lululemon herringbone leggings I want to say three previous times and they always sell for pretty great money these are a size 8 they're the gray super soft cottony full-length herringbone leggings and the herringbone wonder unders I should say and they sell great so I picked those up as well so she was very similar it's funny she was very similar to the first yard sale she had lululemon Tory Burch a lot of great purses which I will show you in a second these lululemon kind of chevron print almost thermal super tight leggings they're like 7 8 length and they're really cute I recognized this as well from a distance the secret garden print again this was at the second garage sale so totally crazy that they had two back-to-back very similar yard sales. I was really happy. I wasn't complaining. It's called the Dancing Warrior Tank Top. Um, to find the Lululemon styles and like names, they all have a unique name. Honestly, all I do is go to Google Images, type in Lululemon, Secret Garden, Strappy, Racerback, Built-in Bra. I just put in as many keywords as I can. 
and I look through the images until I find what I'm looking for and then I click on it and it usually has the full name of it. So that's the way I'm able to search. It does take some time but it is worth it to attach the actual name of the Lululemon item when you're selling it rather than just say Lululemon floral tank and then it gets scooped up for way less than it's worth. So from her I picked up these Tory Burch Riva Quinn denim flats. They're really cute and in basically perfect condition so I was really excited to pick these up. As well as a brand called Picolinos which is a brand I picked up before. These are like these little stacked wood wedges and they're leather. They sell for decent money. I currently have these listed for I think $45. I'm hoping that they sell decently well. She also had these Tory Burch Frida wedges wedge espadrille sandals and they're way cute in really good condition so definitely grab those. She also had some hunter boots that were in really beautiful condition. They had been worn. I don't have those upstairs. They're downstairs. Um, but they are super beautiful. They just had, sometimes hunter boots can get like this white film on them when they've been worn. It's probably from salt. Like I'm not hundred percent sure, but one way to clean them and get them beautiful again is just to use olive oil on a rag and wipe them down really well until they're shiny. Let it dry. If there's any other spots, use the olive oil again. Rub it down and dry, and sure enough, you will have hunter boots that are completely brought back to life. So I would definitely recommend not passing on hunter boots if they have a little bit of discoloration because that can be easily remedied. Okay, in addition to the shoes and the jeans and the Lululemon, I found some pretty cool purses. This is a Brahmin purse. It's like a almost like a bucket purse. It's in excellent condition and really beautiful. I have not listed this yet. I did have a helper, like I've hired a helper for the summer to help take pictures. And she usually does an awesome job, but I didn't train her well enough on how to take photos of bags. So I'm going to have to redo these. But yeah, it's in super beautiful condition. Brahmin is a brand I do definitely look for. Also, this Madewell bag. Madewell, I don't generally pick up like just their plain t-shirts or their plain tops anymore. I love picking up their jeans and I love picking up their bags or dresses or sweaters or anything that's generally a little bit more expensive. But yeah, this was way cute, perfect condition. Um, again, I haven't listed this yet, but I love selling Madewell bags. Like when I looked up comps on the spot, I think I can get over $100 for this. So definite score. She also had these Hunter clogs in brand new condition. Um, they have never been worn. They're so darling. So I definitely scooped these up. Then these fur trim boots, like knee high, are Kookaburra brand. And when I looked up comps, they look awesome. These boots sell for around $75. They look to be pretty much brand new. I mean, they're probably worn maybe once or twice. I think from my research, Kookaburra is an offshoot of Uggs, but you guys can correct me in the comments. Um, I think that's what I did in my limited research. These have not been listed yet, but yeah, I found these. I paid $10 for them, so hoping for a great return there. I picked up these Ugg woven, I think they're called the Cardi boot. Yeah, the Cardi boot, they like fold down with the buttons on the side, or you can pull them up to be knee length. And these have sold great for me in the past, so I scooped these up. As well as these J. Crew knee-high boots. They're suede, made in Italy. Really beautiful. Um, there is one spot here, but I'm hoping I can clean that with my suede cleaning kit. I will get around to doing a shoe cleaning video one of these days, I promise. And then these beautiful Fry boots that are distressed intentionally. You can always tell Fry by this little logo right here on the heel or of course from, from the bottom but yeah fry boots sell great for me and these are totally classic they retail for a ton of money so definitely pick up fry if you ever find it so yeah guys this has been an amazing haul I was so excited to find all these awesome treasures and take them off the hands of people who were trying to sell them in fact, I think the woman who had the second sale had an eBay store and was just trying to liquidate stuff and get rid of it. So that's why I kind of went. I mean, when people want to liquidate their eBay stuff and they're just done, that's a perfect opportunity if you're trying to grow to go get their stuff and work out a deal. So I'm really happy I was able to do that with her. And yeah, so I've gotten most of the stuff listed. I do have quite a few more things to do. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can get to work. But I seriously want to thank all of you for your support and kindness. It seriously means the whole world to me. Thank you so much. When I see a kind comment, 
it boosts me up and lifts me and helps me want to keep going. So thank you so much. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like content like this and you're trying to grow your reselling business. I am here to try to help you so that you can earn an income from home just like I do. So anyway, thank you so much again for watching you guys and until next time, take care.